this way. You recording? Yo, yo, yo. One of my uh, favorite B King. Damn, I heard this in a minute. I hadn't either. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Y
oh, yeah. um, in the streets in the club legend as well. Mm -hmm. um, turned up to all the kickbacks. To, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't play B King at a at a function, mm -hmm. what was you doing? Yeah, Pretty no. much. No nah, facts. Um, it was just you know, it's like you start to remember. Like damn, bro, I remember the, the college party. Yeah, the yes. yeah. You go back and. You just, all you had to do was, you know, put the playlist on, and it. It, the vibes were set. The mood was set. You was gonna have a good time, and mm -hmm. it just, you know, anytime I've seen him out about it in the club or whatever, he he was always cool. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? he yeah, was. For he sure. never gave off the vibe of. He felt like he was bigger than everybody else. He was always there to have a good time, and he was always mm -hmm. cool people. So it, it's just unfortunate, you know, that you know he ended up passing. And I think yeah. today they. Um, uh, released a statement basically saying he caused a death was a, a blood clot that uh, traveled to his heart, mm -hmm. so he ended up having a heart attack or whatnot. And man, man. it's just unfortunate because you know if you <clears throat> know B King, he was he used to be huge. He used to be definitely uh, definitely overweight, but you could see that he was losing weight. Yeah, he, working out. He was working out like <laughs> he he still would dibble and dabble in the. The, the wings from, uh, what was that, Onyx or something like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the strip club wings. So he would dibble and dabble. That was kind of his running joke. Yeah. But he, you could tell he had lost a lot of weight. Uh, I believe he has two daughters yeah. as well. And it's just, yeah, it's really unfortunate. And to see so many people on my timeline that I went to PV with or mm -hmm. went to HBCU, like everybody's talking about, hey, this one hit. Yeah. Everybody no, for sure. talking about his He was trending. I think he's still trending. On Twitter, and his reach wasn't just down south. It started reaching to other states and other mm -hmm. areas. He yep. started working with other artists, and it was cool to see his progression because he knew what lane he wanted to be in. He knew what lane from the beginning was, what was working. Yeah. And I, I've said this, and other people have said this. He's the Uncle Luke of this generation, without mm -hmm. a doubt, bro. Yeah. Like when it bro. comes to the club party music, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it was him. His his videos is going wild. Yeah, I will say that. Um, yeah, I remember Brandon used to send me something like, "Hey man, bro, look what they doing over here at this music, this video shoot." Mm -hmm. And it would be a house full of women just going yep. crazy. You know what I'm saying? But they had fun. He he lived his life to the fullest from what it just appeared. Yeah. Um, and he seemed like a genuine person, like yeah, you said. For sure. Uh, whenever people ran up to him, he wasn't stuck up or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he just seemed like a genuine, cool person that just loved his craft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, again, rest in peace to him, B King, and, you know, prayers to the family and yeah, those yeah. that, uh, his loved ones and everyone that are, you know, dealing with this loss. We need to, you know, cover them with, with love and shower them with prayer and, sure. um, you know, just keep showing them, letting them know that, you know, how their dad or, you know, the every <clears throat> everything that he was to people, mm -hmm. how important that he was for the whole entire city and that he's going to keep looking down on them um, and whatnot uh, as they grow, you know, so... We need to keep showing love for them for that, man. But it puts life in perspective. Mm -hmm. As you know, that we're not all here to be here forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it sounds cliche after someone passed and it seems like we hear this all the time, but it's, it just kind of puts things in perspective and snaps you back into reality. Like, yeah, we still live in life. Like, this is still life. Life, life is still mm -hmm. life and it's not promised and to be here forever. Precious. That's why I just enjoy it every day, man. So when it's your time, you won't, you won't look back with no regrets. Yeah. And that's, mm -hmm. It shouldn't be a sad thing, even though it is. It is. But it should... <laughs> um, it should be more on the up and up. Like, man, that life. person lived. They mm -hmm. enjoyed. They was happy. You know, <clears throat> cry mm -hmm. more when babies come here. Mm -hmm. You know, because <laughs> that's when you realize, like, damn, this innocent being now has to be thrown into a world that's full of hatred, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and whatnot. But, yeah, all in all, prayers go out to him. Definitely a legend in the city of Houston. Oh, sure. city is uh, definitely more than this one, so we're going to yeah. keep his legacy going alive. For sure. For uh, sure. We might have to do a kickback just in honor of him. <laughs> hey, for you know sure. What I'm saying? Like, just so. uh, hey, for, definitely for sure, <clears throat> man. I know this weekend, boys, is going to be out, and that's all they're going to be playing. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And no, at every sure. club, that's it. That's all you're going to be hearing. I mean, granted, you hear it every weekend, yeah, but right. now well, it's going to be. I don't, but. You hear it every I week. literally haven't been to the club I, since I last didn't, week. I didn't, I didn't. Since last week? But and that was my first time going in once. Like <laughs> okay, it was the way you I said that. I was literally like, yeah. I was like, stopped smoking crack 24 hours ago, bro. I have been sitting here. I haven't moved. But I literally I been only been one time in months. One nah, time in months. Good. I was I telling am you proud about of that. You. That's good. Because I've been out doing the car meet stuff. I found that and I've been it. enjoying that. That's so. been his new outside. Still been outside. Outside... 
with cars. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And looking at different bills and stuff like that. That's that's what I've been doing. So it's a better. I watched this random dangerous. channel on YouTube. I know this is uh, mm-hmm. pushing towards the car meet, but mm-hmm. they, they, he literally just catches all the fights at the car meets. Fights? Yes. I haven't seen a fight in no car meet. It's, it's, it's probably none at the ones you go to. He's, uh-huh. he's in Cali, so he's, oh, that's he, different. You know, they different out there. Yeah, no, so, I, I get going he, before the shenanigans really get wild. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. He know, said, "Oh, y'all getting wild. active? Okay, yeah, I get, go. I get out of here, bro. <laughs> well, don't even invite me there. I'll go to the morning time. <laughs> no, it, it's it's a Cali, Cali channel though. He he really just he literally pulls up to random Cali meets mm-hmm. and like he'll pull up with his car. And then they'll like be checking each other's car before they race or whatever they're, mm-hmm. they're gonna do at the meet or whatever it is. Um, and before then, it get live, he before be, it get live, he, he tries to see what's going on. If people are like they're having their agreements on what they're gonna do, mm-hmm. uh, you can't have cans in your in your truck in the back of your car, or whatever. Before they do whatever they're gonna do, and then uh, he. Uh, Make Usually sure catches he always catches it. It's like you'll see him run, like he'll just start running. Oh Lord. And like this guy finds all the fights and he That's just funny. he's just sprinting and the next thing you know he's he's catching somebody getting a hook getting hooked across the face. I was like, bro, this dude That's crazy, bro. He's man. he's always there. But it, he, he getting good footage. But it'd be like sometimes it'll be like he'll get like week after week and then sometimes it'll be like you'll wait like a, a couple months and he'll be like, Big fight at the new beat. Big fight. Like, he fights. You thought all there of wasn't them. gonna be any more? <laughs> That man finds him. He's the one that's spurring on the fight. Hey, man, he said your shit's no. slow. No, he really is. Wow. Bro, you have him in the background. That. He be like, are you cheating like that? Like, he'll just say wow. some random stuff. I wouldn't take that. <laughs> no, he's that guy. Damn, right? he, he you slapped you? Damn. Couldn't damn. be me, though. <laughs> Homie said he wasn't going to pay up even if he lost. lost. That's what he told me on the low, but I wouldn't take that. <laughs> This nigga over there, yes, fight for yeah, me. Fight, fight. Got all the angles. But it's been uh, some recent, quite a few recent uh, topics going on um, mm-hmm. lately. Uh, shout out to the folks that's been supporting the uh, the, the pod. Yeah, yeah, so sure. It up, man. Shout out to Brandon mm-hmm. uh, for last pod. You know, he was, he got there. You know, he tried to get us emotional. <laughs> he definitely kicked well, we, some dust high into <laughs> the sky. <laughs> we held it in, man. People was really rocking with it. But mm-hmm. there was a couple of things that you were saying happening. Uh, um, well, yeah. I know we don't know the great details, but I think it was like maybe uh, earlier this week, um, there was a hacker group that said oh, that yeah. they potentially, well, not even potentially, they bragging about it saying, hey, we uh, were able to get every citizen of the United States their social security information, and we're about to go sell that shit mm. to the highest bidder. Now, we don't know how true it is, if that mm-hmm. situation is true, but I've seen a lot of people on social media like, hey, they can have my shit, nigga. Ain't yeah, that's, that's kind of the worst thing. Okay. <laughs> Take it, buddy. Take it, buddy. I'm, I'm wondering why the hackers don't use their powers. Like, for, There's some that do. Like student loans. Like go <laughs> go ahead and pay them all go off. Go after bro. that. Use the that government money boy, and pay them all off. Boy, I check my account. That shit say zero. I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna ask I'm no not questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of it. So if they put try to put it back, like no, 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 hey, no, somebody no. Somebody put money into this balance. I had a zero. Don't you yeah. revert it. Don't you revert it. <laughs> I had that. a zero. Exactly. That's the kind of stuff that I'm like, hack that. You hack hacking people's socials. Shit. People not don't give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> people credit score so low, they don't even know how to they can't. Rent a burger if they could. I swear, like I said, like, niggas ain't worried about. You said rent a burger. Niggas rent a burger. Can That's I the lease worst. This, can I lease this burger? Sir. You only get two bites, nigga. <laughs> Bring it back, nah, bro. <laughs> uh, sorry, unfortunately, your application at the time does not. Damn, you can't even. We have to take the bacon off. Sorry, yeah, I can't even, <laughs> can't even look at the burger. I can flash it for you real quick, but damn, you can't, even get you no, can't lease a burger. Damn. Be like that, bro. That's wild. Niggas out here be renting. I mean, they be what they be putting on um, the payments. Oh with, yeah, uh, like different things, stuff that you buy After online. They said it was payment plans on hair. Yes. There's payment yeah. plans on everything. After, After that, pay. that, that point, I Far said enough. this is PayPal for four. Mm-hmm. I use them all. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But the thing is, what are you gonna do when I don't pay it? That's the that's always been my question. Like they gonna hurt you? <laughs> they gonna find you? They gotta do something. They're breaking your kneecaps. <laughs> hey, you got the new Jordans on, huh? I you missed that last payment. Cut all the hair out your head. <laughs> they gonna find you. Hey, as long as I get my use out of it. <laughs> you know oh, I already did my parties. The most creased up. You yeah, have them now. Have them now. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm if, gonna lease some more. If you do it, you can't use their their stuff no more for yeah. sure. Like, like you're out of there. Fifteen more now, right? Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Like a whole bunch of different ones starting to come up where you can. Uh, you got yeah, PayPal. True. You got Afterpay. You got Afterpay. Klarna. You got yeah, Klarna. It's, it's a lot of so stuff. So you just go K-Larna. through them. I thought it was K Klarna, but Klarna. Yeah. <laughs> you just go through them. K Klarna. Like, like, maybe it is K Klarna. I, I don't know. I just said it all together. I just shit. seen it on there. They I've, even have it on Amazon. It be oh, looking, yeah. Amazon got it too. I've mm-hmm. used that too. It'd be looking tempting when you just don't want to pay the full price. Or yeah, that just but me? then. I, exactly. I, it's like, it'll it's look good for the moment, but when the time comes, I don't like old people. So. I can see. That's the thing, though. What I do, a lot of times I'll start it and then I'll pay twice. And then after that, I'll be like, pay that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> it becomes like a bill in your house. Because you're like, I'm tired of looking at it. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. why? It's, pay it off. Uh, bad for me. Because when I see the total full price or something, <clears throat> and then I see that price. That price always become more attractive. Yes, it does. <laughs> and I just be like, you know what? Mm. Yeah, Thirty five dollars wouldn't hurt. Right and you now. should come bust around the corner. Boy, if you don't just. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I've been I looking did. at some shoes. I was like, hmm. I don't have the plug to this. Uh, mm. I might just go ahead and get this one. <laughs> some, some Dior ones or something. Nah, or? some Lamellos. I like okay. I like them ball like the. Uh, What's the name of them? I cannot remember. It's like little mellow ball shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, ball shoes. Mm-hmm. I wore yeah. I wore them here before the black Triple and white B. ones that I got. Oh, okay. I like the uh, big ball. He got some all white ones and he got some iridescent ones, like the white and iridescent. In it. It's, mm. it's hard. So that's kind of been like my vibe. I've been trying to like not get Nikes as much. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was, you know, I was Ross at one point, <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, awesome. I need to. Not you know go Spain too hard. Let, let me expand and try to do something different. So I've been in Pumas lately. I think okay. soon I'm gonna be like in my dress fits. This is my first time having some like van looking shoes in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I was just trying to do something different. I never yeah, yeah, yeah. buy shoes like no, that. They're comfortable. Nisha got me some. Uh, no, they are. What are them shoes you got me? Kohans. Kohans. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I love those shoes because <laughs> you can throw it on with like a, a nice exactly. fit. Uh, it could be something real casual. Cause I got some um, black ones with it too, like the black and white. Yeah, mm-hmm. you just throw it on with any you type can, of style. You can, yeah, you can get a little dressy with it. I'm like, okay, okay, look at us being some dads, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Wears, like full suits with Kohans on. Nah, yeah. for real, I've seen mm-hmm. that too. I'm gonna be in the back. I think once I get to my target like weight goal, or you know, I'm almost yeah, there. I'm, I'm finna you cooking. It's gonna be kind of live. <laughs> I don't even know. What I just mean. I think about um power. What uh what's the guy, the main guy from Power? Uh James? Ghost? Yeah, Ghost. Oh, Everybody yeah. calls him James St. Patrick. I'm about to say James Mr. St. Patrick. Saint Patrick. Mr. Saint Patrick. Mm-hmm. Mr. Saint he don't even have his real name anymore. I don't even know what it is. It's um, He's just Ghost. <laughs> nah, he's Ghost. Yeah, I can't remember right now at this moment. It's Ghost. Man, man. I ain't gonna disrespect him like that. It's, nah, he's a great guy. I think it's jo- is it Joseph. I think when you play a character so good, that's the character you become. Yeah. yeah. That's just what it is. It's like the dude who passed away, the Joker. He's just the Joker now. Oh, you talking about? I know he he Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah, yeah, he's Heath Ledger, but he's yeah. a Joker. Amari Hardwick. Yeah, yeah, I know his name. Hardwick. He said, "I know his name." I just, but he's ghost. I thought it was Joker. He is ghost. <laughs> when the when the character when the when the um actor or actress when, when, makes the character them yeah. so much and they dominate the role. He did that shit so good. Like I don't mm-hmm. I don't see another Deadpool. I can't see anyone mm-hmm. outside of Ryan Reynolds being Deadpool. Like it's no. just and speaking of Deadpool, they reached over a billion dollars. Hey. Yes. And uh Shout out to them. well deserved. They reached over a billion dollars and I think Hugh Jackman recently said he's down to do another one. Oh, well, uh, Disney gonna have him yeah. until he's ninety. Yeah, yeah he's like down he to do another role as uh, Wolverine. So I was like, Oh, those Ryan checks. Did say it. Oh, they <laughs> checks. <laughs> Cause Disney, to get them back for one was Yeah. Had to be and a it's bump. Been a minute since they've reached a billion dollars on a franchise, bro. And they didn't spend as much as they normally would with a lot of the other MCU movies. So mm-hmm. this was a home run that they needed. And what it's only been out maybe like three weeks. Yep. Hey, at a the end of the day, dollars. they re- realized they tried to go with the whole woke thing and just be so mm-hmm. inclusive. And you realize things like that don't work when mm-hmm. there's comics. There's, I know they don't always follow the lines of the mm-hmm. comics, but it's a normal trajectory of what things <laughs> should look like when it comes to the MCU. And mm-hmm. stuff like that, or just Marvel in general. So when you try to go and make Spider Man like another guy or something, it's like <laughs> you start to realize, like, bro, the fans that's been fans of this don't mind you creating a whole new superhero or a whole new 
you know, mm-hmm. whatever magazine, you know, like a comic, but don't try to switch up what it is that I've always known. Yeah. yeah. With some that something that's not that's totally against because that definitely doesn't have nothing to do people. with the story. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. And you see it in the box office. People are like, I ain't gonna see that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. save my money, you know, and go watch something else or Which they have else. they have the right to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You realize those are the ones that's investing into the product. So yeah. Yep. You're mm-hmm. gonna do right by the people mm-hmm. that's you know, putting money behind it and yeah. They did they, they learned. They, they, they definitely learned once they saw, oh shit. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. Maybe we We're gonna stick to it. Maybe we need to stick to the, the, the golden goose, <laughs> which is Deadpool right now. Yep. So hey now nah, hey shout out to them and mm-hmm. uh you know we'll see how things plan out in the future for the MCU. Uh you know, outside of the big thing of uh, Iron Man, aka Robert Downey Jr., now being. How do y'all feel about that, um, Doctor Doom? Doctor Doom. I personally don't care. It's like I get why they did it, but at the same time, it's one of those situations where we know it's supposed to be Jonathan Majors in that spot, not as Doctor Doom, but he's yeah. supposed to be and the next villain. big bad threat. Do y'all yeah. think he's out already, like completely, or you think he? Got I don't a know if he's completely out, but they've already switched and pivoted. Yeah, clearly, I can, I can see them pulling them in for something else. But yeah, like, but yeah. he won't be the the marquee piece anymore. And he it's, was he, tough, he's a, he, they almost put him in a position where he has to re rebuild himself. Yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. sucks, especially with you know the fact that he was not really doing anything. Yeah. So, did y'all but, see the clip um, on the shade room where uh, it looks like one of the people? I don't know if it's a pop paparazzi. I mean, paparazzi, whoever it is that followed mm-hmm. him around. Oh, was asking them um, those questions? Asking them a question about uh, how does he feel about <clears throat> him being the doomsday? And then he was just like... We're being replaced, yeah. Yeah, he was just basically saying, like, they like he was mad about it, pretty much. He was kind of shady. I'd be pissed off, too. But he, he tried to say something. Like, he you know, tried, he to, was trying to say something, but not say so much. Because yeah. he was like, I'm really not yeah. about to say this, because I know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I watched that video. Somebody shared it on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I was like... Yeah, I could, I could, I would probably answer the same way. Like, you know how I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know how I feel. <laughs> he like, didn't say that to negative because he knew better. Yeah, but he was just he, like he smirked at her like, mm, all right, mm. okay, mm, you know what's up, lady. Mm. <laughs> Hell out of my face with that. No question. Yeah, but I mean, it's just one of them things where I feel like that's why the whole like ah, it's like keeping the image squeaking clean sometimes messes you up because when you're going, you're we're all still human at the end of the day. Mm. So do y'all feel like people should? really be like terminated from whatever it is that they're good at doing just because of something that may have happened behind the scenes. I think it all depends on what, life. what the something is. Yeah. It depends on the severity and, of it. Cause then I feel like a rebuild, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people can be forgiven for most things. Yeah. yeah so sure. like it depends on the severity of it mm-hmm. on the, the necess the, I guess the need to rebuild for it. I don't mm. feel like he needed, to necessarily rebuild after his situation personally. Yeah. yeah. I've, and then on top of that, it's like you got Robert Downey Jr. who had a crazy yeah, ass. Well, yeah, before, yeah, before you got into that Iron Man role, he was, he, <laughs> he, was he there, had bro. to be rebuilding. This yeah. was, this was pretty much his last chance. Yeah. With the Iron Man role, that yeah. was it. And it, it paid off and, you know, he was knucklehead. Yeah, he was able to, you know, overcome <clears throat> the stuff he was dealing with. But I think with Disney, in particular with them, it's like, Oh, they saw that. They immediately, nah, we don't want to even be associated mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. Not even knowing the full context. Or they may have knew the full context, but nah, we can't do it because <clears throat> we're trying to promote this. And we got all these women superhero movies. And we're trying to do this. And this would kind of go against what our brand. So they immediately cut ties. Yeah. And that's what companies are going to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. They're going to do that. It just sucks that they had literally had a plan, a roadmap. And all because of this one situation which was unfortunate, they said, now nah, we got to cut ties. And that's yeah. it. That, they made a business decision. That's and tough, man. I, it I sucks. Hate that. I hate that, bro. Like, yeah. That's, that's why it's like, you know, mm, it's, we it's, really got to have more things catered around ourselves by us. Mm-hmm. You know, and, because, and I, I feel like social media doesn't help it, though, because it's yeah. like, it's the same as like boxers. Like boxing now if you lose, you're considered a bad boxer. Yeah. Uh-huh. It, social media world. Yeah. But boxing back then, a lot of those greatest boxers have L's. Like, yeah. they mm-hmm. all have L's. Yeah, nobody. Ali, mm-hmm. um, Tyson, like, oh, all of my yeah. favorites back then had L's. Mm-hmm. And so, it's weird that people feel like, because it's almost like after the Floyd Mayweather era, they're like, everybody has to do that. 
in order to be the oh. greatest thing ever. And it, and it's it's annoying because it's like one you lose one fight and then all of a sudden you're the worst boxer ever. Yeah. It's not. And he's only declared the greatest is because he never lost. But it's like it doesn't. That's why I don't like the difference of time period arguments because it's like you just don't know. That's why, bro. When, we, when I talk. Sh- you know, trash about sports teams and all that. It's mm-hmm. really just out of fun. Yeah, you know, always. because I'm not on the level physically that they are, or haven't put the time and the dedication in like mm-hmm. they did to get yeah. where they got. Because so. this era now is is it's it's short. It's everything yeah. is short. Everything yeah. is fast. They need everything now. Instant and gratification. So, yeah. Instant gratification. Instant uh, entertainment. Instant everything. Uh, from the music to the boxing yeah. to the sports. Sports back to the actors like. The actor do one thing, he's he's the worst person on earth, he's the scum of the earth, da da da. And then they forget that they literally just punched a woman in the face last week in their uh judging in their house. Else. Yeah, judging yeah, somebody yeah. else. Uh, it, it's crazy. Online. Oh, you're a woman beater. I'm like, yeah, that's Why, crazy. Honey? Put the camera on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are we doing, it's, man? It, it, the thing is, is just it, we always talk about it, but it's just one of those things where People, social media, their 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 ideologies, man. It's just you just have to kind of blanket it out. Now the only thing is that's crazy is that they can ruin people's jobs or careers, like mm-hmm. the Jonathan Majors, like the uh, what's my guy, uh, Nat Turner. Um, not to, I said Nat Turner. <laughs> that brought me to a. Uh, what's the guy? I think he played one. Nat Turner. Um, he was in that movie where he uh, you remember that Turner that freed the slaves? He was preaching the gospel mm-hmm. to them, mm-hmm. and then he went against uh, the masters yeah, 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 back yeah. in the slavery day. I know he what started you're talking to. About. I cannot picture the actor right now. Yeah. For some he was in uh, the Great Debaters. I still can't picture that because right <laughs> I ain't seen that in so long. That's been a minute. You make me want to go watch. I'm gonna show you his um. <laughs> These guys nah, are for real. Showing there. Dang, the, the it's great the birth debaters. of a nation. Birth of a nation. Huh? Nate Parker. Okay. Oh Nate man, Parker. Nate Parker. Let me show you what that guy looks like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Nate yes. Parker. Oh, okay. So, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what his situation was. Remember, he yeah. was cooking mm-hmm. for yeah, a little he, bit. He, he started was. doing some more, and he's a phenomenal mm-hmm. actor. Um, so it came out a story that came out about something that happened like a while ago. Uh-huh. I think I don't know if it was when he was in college or what, but oh, of course. Uh, I think it was like a white girl saying that she had sexually assaulted him. I'm paraphrasing, so don't, you know, mm-hmm. go look it up yourself. I think it came out that he was innocent or something. You know, he didn't get charged. Oh, okay, okay. So it was something about it, but all that, that's the only thing that had to come out was just the situation. Just and then they idea. started taking him off of everything. And then, you know, I don't know the true story of mm-hmm. what really happened. So hopefully, but I, when I was looking at it, I was just like, wait, so you're saying he didn't do it, but, but somebody he, accused him of it. And he, he was able to say, it. it's almost like he didn't even get a an out to just speak his piece on what happened okay. they had already you know and that's just almost like the and i hate to bring this up but it's almost like the meg and tory thing like mm-hmm. we know a lot of people that were just all one way and mm-hmm. on on meg's just telling the truth and i'm just like well unfortunately she got injured i'm glad she's straight all we were saying most logical people were that seemed like a cluster f of a night yeah, it seemed like everybody had a part in it. Everybody yeah. was intoxicated. We don't. Everybody, people were, they were intoxicated. Mm-hmm. We've all had situations where we've been lit, and mm-hmm. you know, you just you turn it up a little mm-hmm. too much sometimes, mm-hmm. and you may not remember certain things. Mm-hmm. Oh man, last night you said this, or you got mad at so and so. So it's like that's one of them things where it was just like we can't necessarily pick one. Yeah, side. I don't know who did what, but when you when you would state say that, I knew a lot of women and different people, friends mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh. oh. Oh no, he did it. He did it. He did. Basically, that. she said he did. He did. I'm like, well, damn. Niggas saying that she like, got kicked the off the party. She was drunk. But mm-hmm. all in all, that's that rhetoric of you. You already guilty. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like I ain't even gonna let you get a chance guilty. to say what happened. Guilty before guilty and innocent. And until prove, proven innocent. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's kind of the same thing that I was, you know, feeling with that uh, Nate yeah. Parker. Um, you know, it's just just one of them roller coaster of emotions and things that you just gotta realize. Coming with the business, they make you they they make you feel like you gotta keep a squeaky clean uh, image. When all, when all in all, the real <laughs> the real grimy people be the ones at the top. Yeah. And nowadays, we starting to find out more and more. You starting to find out how some of your favorite Disney stars been dealing with all these kind of yeah. creeps. Behind the scenes and yeah. uh, all these execs and people in in power. Mm-hmm. Oh, you wanna you wanna roll, huh? Uh, well, you know what? I'm feeling good. It's one in the morning. Let's go do a script reading at the hotel. Yeah. 
They're like, huh? All right. Well, I do want this role really bad, and I want to yeah, be popular. Do the so script read. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you, That's how why don't you get a little comfortable before we start reading this? And then mm-hmm. the time the man opens know, up the door with a robe on, bro. Yeah. Like, and you start to realize who the real creeps are, and yeah. then. I think that's also why they allow like some of the actors to be the forefront to get penalized publicly and scrutinized because they know what they're really doing. So yeah. if they put the eyes on them, yeah, they they'll be the scapegoat. That's what it is. That. It's unfortunate, and we just live in a time period now where, my you opinion, know, comp- <laughs> my opinion, uh, mm-hmm. companies they're quick to. Uh, <clears throat> Cut ties because they don't mm-hmm. want to lose their money. That's mm-hmm. what it's all about. Because right. they uh-huh. don't give a shit. They, hey, <laughs> if y'all think they really care about y'all feelings. Thank you, Apple, for leaving him. And- you think they care about your pronouns and what you identify as? I can tell you this now. They don't. I remember when companies were all blacking out their profiles. You remember that time? That was the time before yeah, the yeah, George yeah, Floyd situation. George Floyd. All these companies I can't now, breathe. all of a sudden, were bl- even Call of Duty. Yeah, as soon as you started up the game, yeah, you know we sub- Black Lives Matter, all Black this other stuff. Matter. And I'm like, yeah. no, but do you- they? Because all these white boys been calling me a nigga for and years. This is one of those things where, like, I get the sentiment <laughs> and it's cool to see it, but we know yeah. it's it's just to appease. The, the woke audience is just we understood. to the, it's just to make it seem like oh we do care come buy some more of our products we do care about you. yeah we care but mm-hmm. at the end of the day it's a company and most companies they care about their bottom line and that's it yeah, so if you affect it or you make you do something that makes them look bad we gotta gonna, protect our brand they're like gonna when, cut ties when with Wrigley's I think uh, cut ties with Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Remember he used to be on the commercial, the mm-hmm. gum commercial, yep. and that situation. I'm like, uh-huh. it ain't like we was going to buy more. Oh, thank you, Riggs. Oh, yeah. I'm going to buy me a pack of gum today yeah. because you guys, bro, and, just relax. And speaking of Chris Brown, uh, I sent you the clip. I didn't know if you wanted to play it or not. Mm-hmm. Of perfect. Uh, See how I, I helped with that yeah, segment. The alley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> of how uh, Tank was on uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith's. Um, a lot of celebrities on drugs now. You stupid. <laughs> Tank was on Steve. Play it. Go ahead, go ahead. But Tank was on Stephen A. Smith's show, and I guess they had some type of uh, dinner, and he was talking about how he feels like LeBron's better than Jordan. We've already heard about that conversation. Yeah. Don't really care. But then he was also alluding to him feeling that Chris Brown has surpassed Michael Jackson. Uh, Play the clip. Here it goes. With his boys and stuff, eat dinner. And for some reason, we got into it. And tell the audience what you said <laughs> that almost gave me a heart attack right in the restaurant. Tell them, Tank. Tell them. I mean, what I said was, you <laughs> tell know, him, Tank, tell him. I think that if we're saying numbers don't lie, uh, you know, me and my brother Breon said that LeBron is the GOAT. But that's all I said. But the LeBron. LeBron, you didn't say something. What did you say? He wasn't even worried about that. Yeah, he didn't get about that. Compared to Michael Jackson. Mm. And now we'll move on to that. Go ahead. Chris Brown <laughs> is, in fact, opinion better than Michael Jackson. Opinion, what? of course. <laughs> do you understand what you're saying? And I think there's another clip, too, on the next slide. Do you understand what you're saying, my man? I mean, you, 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 you admire, you, 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 you're revered, you, 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 That's when he get excited. Yeah. 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 Everybody loves and respects you. We, I see my man respects you. We know that Chris Brown is out of this world. I think he's the greatest entertainer on the planet right now. For sure. I think mm-hmm. that Chris For Brown sure. is special. Yeah, he's tough. But better <clears throat> than Michael Jackson, 13 That's time Grammy Award 13. winner. Michael Jackson, the thriller, the 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 high the, the, the highest selling album of the all time. time. That Michael all Jackson. Time. Things evolve. True. Brother. Things evolve. They do. There bro. was if we're equating it to sports as we love to do. If there was Magic Johnson, now there is LeBron James. That is the ultimate evolution of a man who can play all five positions and 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 fill up that stat sheet honestly, organically, right? And now as we talk about Chris Brown, we're talking about the evolution of Michael Jackson, the evolution of Usher, the evolution of me, the evolution of genuine. Respect you. We know that Chris Brown. So that's is- his. That's his point. He he feels and you know he feels that Michael Jackson, uh, Chris Brown is, you know, 
has surpassed Michael Jackson. He's felt like this for a while. This is not yeah, even new. Yes. This is not a new opinion. This is not a new opinion, but I hate that, bro, because <laughs> this it. is I mean, because honestly, goats legends amongst legends shouldn't be touched. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think we should even compare. Like, bro, there's nothing wrong with saying Chris Brown is the greatest entertainer and artist that we know right now. Yeah, without a doubt. What was like? What's wrong with that? Why? And that's why my my thing is always we always have to mm-hmm. pull one down in order to big another up. Mm. Like you don't have to do that, bro. Just hey, they're great. They're doing something that I couldn't even fathom doing. Mm-hmm. Why did that's the whole Jordan Lebron topic? Like we argued about this for so long, and of course I was a part of it back in the day. <laughs> being honest, but at the end of the day, they're both phenomenal athletes anomalies. That you're not gonna see, uh, really. To if you really want to be honest, a uh, hella NBA players. I mean, bro, look at the percentage. Less than five thousand people, bro. Do you know how many people just live in the city? And just to say how many people can get into the league in general, like, bro, that's that's a half of a half of a half of a half a percentage mm-hmm. of a chance happening. And we sit here as couch potatoes. I'll say, <laughs> sitting there pointing fingers. At, oh, this person ain't good. This person, you ain't all that. It's, it's, it's just it's an See, argument that I, I just in, I just in don't this like situation. I don't feel like he was necessarily saying anyone any of them were bad. Mm-hmm. He was just giving his opinion, which yeah. was wrong. But <laughs> he was giving his opinion that Chris Brown was better than Michael. So that's the one time I'm like, eh, if you feel that way, you yeah, feel that well, way. I respect it. As long as he didn't say, like, such and such was trash. Yeah, and yeah. Chris no. Brown is He said this. factually. I can only imagine what he said at the dinner table. <laughs> yeah. Because, I, I mean, honestly, he knew what the scrutiny was going to be if he would have said Michael Jackson only. Because, I mean, if a, normally when a person big up, why they feel like someone is better? Mm. They come with a well. He he got how many songs he got on it, and it's just like all right, we we stepping into that that mm-hmm. zone where we're we're ne- we're disrespecting the greats uh, or the the work that a great has done. That's kind of like what they. That's why he kept bringing up the whole LeBron thing, like this Magic Johnson. They, they, that's where things evolve, which is I agree with. But that's your opinion. So he explained later <laughs> on on the reasons why he made a list: mm-hmm. vocal ability. Uh, See. MJ is less than. See. These are all less than. He feels like uh, That's Chris that. Brown is better. Say that? Writing ability better. Uh, producing ability better. Dancing ability better. I know you're going to say MJ's catalog is crazy. Songs are classic, etc. But that was because a lot of great people involved who were some okay, of the greatest at See, what they do. Now you're taking CD away. <laughs> orchestrates his own movement from the studio to the visual to the show. No handouts, no sponsors. And all while the world was against <clears throat> him, I'm ready to argue. And that's, I just said, that you, was, can't, you can't ever, before I even knew that even existed, mm-hmm. you can't never just, that's why that comparison conversation never goes well because you're always going to prove a reason why that person even, wasn't. Even with that comparison, I'm still not saying he's dogging Michael. Okay. Yeah, it is to me. Just, he, just don't talk bad on. I Michael. say that as in like well, that's Michael. He he he's saying both of them are great. He's just saying I think this one is better. That's it. Mm-hmm. He's not saying I ain't hear that. <laughs> that's what I hear. I Did love hear both that? of them. Probably, <laughs> I probably love both of them more than a lot of people like that I know. So because yeah. I grew up on Michael Jackson, yeah, almost yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that's what made me start dancing. But um. So that's why I can't really choose ever Chris. And then vocally, I'm definitely not choosing Chris over yeah, Michael. Nah, nah. But, um, yeah, that's why I was yeah. I was like. I was like uh, dancing. I will 1,000% choose Chris Brown over Michael Jackson. I will personally. Dance-wise, yeah, 100%. Man. Because we've evolved for sure. Yeah, in the from dance the dancing category. side. Now, if we're talking that, that's physically like that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but if we go, I wish we can just find a way to, to just tap into some type of technology, man, one day. But like it's just compare time period dancing, like the level of complexity yeah. for the, the time period. Because if you throw Michael true. Jackson in 2024, he's fucking it up. Uh, yeah. I, I, hey, say that, but I, I think Michael Jackson will be. I'm very biased. I, I'm a Chris Brown <laughs> fan. Uh, I'm, a, well, I'm a Michael Jackson fan because I did grow up with him as well. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, like he said, dance wise, hands down, Michael Jackson was crazy with it but chris brown is definitely taking but we it. only feel like that because of the bias of the now but no in this case this is not both, this though. is not because of the bias of the now i say because i, af- I think athletically 
I personally think athletically, Chris Brown is just the more athletic That's person, what I'm saying. which is what converts him to becoming a better dancer. Did y'all expand? I don't want to cut everybody off, but did y'all watch <laughs> that video that he placed that he, he was supposed to do the tribute to Michael Jackson? Remember? Mm-hmm. Did mm-hmm. y'all watch just, that? But it's like almost. It's really what we're doing. We're arguing two different styles because. But Michael he did Jackson, his dance moves. But Michael Jackson had a different style than what we know Chris Brown. Michael Jackson was. had a different style than everybody. He did. Yeah. Which is what made him great. great. Which is yeah. true. But that's because he was special. From that, though. He's but great. it's like, but if you think about dancing like now, and I hear what you're saying, you, you, y'all dance. So I you hear see what I'm saying the like, reason why the I hear what you're saying is I hear what you're saying. But my issue is when it comes to athleticism, that takes such a. If you have the rhythm with the athleticism, that ups your dance ability most of the time. Ninety percent of the time, when you're an athlete that has rhythm. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times you're going to be a step up b- below the guy who's not as athletic. Right. Mm-hmm. That's just what it is. Because a lot of times, like let's say uh, Chris Brown, he can uh, let's say they were in the same time frame and he's they're both doing the uh, moonwalk or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, the difference between him and Chris Brown is Chris Brown could probably break dance with it right then because mm-hmm. Chris Brown is athletically gifted to do that. He's just mm-hmm. built that way. But they probably wouldn't have been break dancing on stage around the so you're for that song no i'm not i'm just saying <laughs> it's just a time period right because like you didn't necessarily see people break dancing in those it, set I, it, you're making me um also um com- compare this when i don't want to because i think michael's better anyways good for the but <laughs> good my, my issue this. with that is I, I just think chris brown's athletically just more gifted than michael jackson and you know what you're not uh, bringing up which all of you not realizing why michael jackson is better I'm gonna wait for her to put a uh, uh, headphones in because you need to hear this. Oh, can you hear? I can hear without the headphones, right? This is why Michael Jackson is better. You ever got your ass whooped and had a sore behind? Oh no! Michael Jackson was getting his ass whooped and he still was out oh, there. Oh, damn! Really? So we're not even thinking that far. Michael Jackson was getting beat. He, he was, was still going out beat. there, and he was still going out there going. So <laughs> the that's, that's, that, right. that bumps up. So I was, I was going you know, to the rat too, Mr. Rat. I was going somewhere so so different from that. I'm like, because. <laughs> Cause we ain't putting no light on there, bro. Cause Michael Jackson, you ever moved around after an ass whooping? Michael oh, Jackson man. did something that nobody else did Less at that levels. time. Chris Brown, the reason why Chris Brown is Chris Brown is because of Michael Jackson. So we can't take away that. Of course. Yes. And, and I absolutely, of course. Agree. So, I absolutely agree. like we can't take that away. I I'll just it. say this: they're both great. But if we're gonna they go, are. if I'm gonna go off of his list, mm-hmm. there is no way. I am picking Michael Jackson as the better dancer as Chris Brown. I'm not either. Because this area, this era, mind you, when Michael Jackson was dancing on during all this frame, this mm-hmm. this time, Michael Jackson went into the two thousands. Mm-hmm. We had different dance styles then. He was already a little older though. Guess who adjusted? He sure did. Came out with vision. C B. How old was he though? Okay, he was no, guess who adjusted though? No, guess who adjusted? So no. guess who adjusted? Though. Okay, no. come Michael on, man, J- you you getting into this or not? Your name is Michael <laughs> because of them. So I'm wondering why I'm talking. I shouldn't even be talking right now. It's just, Your whole name, like, think about it though, because Michael, Michael Michael Jackson didn't have to adjust. So that's what that that's too, another bro. thing that makes Michael Jackson greater. <laughs> Michael Jackson never had to adjust, Which but. D- 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 but I'm not arguing that. that that's not my argument. You argue just my argument on the is part. simply on the dancing part. I, you know, when it comes I, to the dancing you're, part, you're the dancer, so I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying I'm just, like, I'm just giving you my point. I'm not a dancer, and I'm still saying that. You're but I, well, you're <laughs> biased. You don't even give a shit. Like, because <laughs> when it comes to I'm each like biased. era, guess what? Chris Brown did. He adjusted to each era of styles of dancing. Yes, Early mean. on, he danced a little bit more, you know, smooth and da da da, like how no. the style was. As we get uh, a little bit later on, we start seeing him get a little bit more bounce. But I can um, I can give him that because of this was his generation. So yeah. it's like if Michael was his age, I mean, and that's one of the things I can't even say what would have happened. Yeah. But break dancing you know, was out. Yeah, but it wasn't his thing. Just like you said, like Michael was in such a different. He tapped in into another. Just, and then Michael was dancing outside of his actual shows. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I just would have wished we could have seen what would have happened if Michael Jackson would have went with that mentality. But like I agree a, with Steve like when I say vocally. Of course you do. Vocally, though. Vocally, Hell no. Michael Jackson no. is definitely ahead of that. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, pretty much well. everything else on the list. I'm, yeah. <laughs> that's why I picked one thing. Dancing is the only thing <laughs> I can say. And I always good, tell that was a good part. I always tell you performance wise. Who do y'all think down below? Let us know. Chris Brown. Over Michael Jackson. No, I'm. Um, you talking I about dancing, right? Dancing, oh, oh yeah, dancing. Okay, okay. Everybody's like, oh, I already 
already said that. I said performance wise, to me, he's the top. I feel like we're gonna automatically pick Chris because of we grew up with Chris. But we and also Chris grew has, up at the end of the Michael era too. But it was the end of it. We wouldn't. We didn't. I grew get, up on Michael. We didn't uh, get to it appreciate. Ain't the end for me. <laughs> well, you're right, but we didn't get to appreciate like in real time. Like, yeah, like we, our I parents. Mean, we, were, we were 2000s babies. Like, it, American it, Dream. You know, 90s. We were 90s, yeah, American but Dream. By the time American we really Dream knew since who Michael 94. Jackson was, it was the 2000s. Like, but I'm but I'm saying like what our parents was able to see, mm-hmm. like because it was then you know they were in the now. Of My the, mom watched the the moon. The man live. was making people yeah. faint. Like yeah. we're not even competing. Like that's not no. Yeah. Grown man. Faint. No, nah, the women, way Michael was he doing. He made women nah, faint, bro. but you make you Chris had a Brown, grown man I've crying. I never seen a grown nigga dying. crying and falling out for Chris Brown. Have you? Oh no. And, well, you probably but, will see it nowadays because that's the time we're in, right? But, but here's the thing about that. You stupid. I got, I got what you did there. I'm just saying. But here's shoot the, the three and keep it up there. But here's the thing. <laughs> Somebody going to quote that. Shoot the three, shoot the three and keep, three it, keep it up there. <laughs> Head ass. But um, so. I don't want to put it down. The thing is because. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna get this point off. Get this man out of this room. Wild, bro. Shoot the three and keep it up. It's time time for us to go. That's great, though. We need a shirt for it. We need a shirt for it, bro. It's time for us to take it to the next level. But the thing is, shoot the three and keep it up there. The difference is, people didn't. There wasn't no so much social media. So when you saw Michael, it was True. special. Yeah. You can see Chris Brown on the regular on Instagram. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that his concerts are, you know, uh, special. Because I talked to you because you was like, man. That was mm-hmm. the best concert I've ever been to in my life. So Never. it's just one of those things where, of course, <laughs> yes. when you don't see someone as big as Michael Jackson is, when you finally see them, the emotions and everything is going to run it's wild. Mega. And I think it would probably would have been the same if social media wasn't a thing and Chris Brown kept elevating the <clears throat> way he has been. He probably would have got close to a similar reaction because you don't see this person. Mm-hmm. I think if you don't have the Rihanna situation, he's probably oh, it's, what? it's yeah, probably yeah. out of out of oh, control. Yeah. Yeah. The comparisons would get even much more closer if that mm, never happened. I, do that. Okay, I, would, I would compare would. him. I think more like Usher, the people in this time period would be. Wait, more I was about to say that. So let's. I think, y'all wanna, y'all wanna I think conversations like that would be. So they more. had that BET Awards tribute to Usher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that Rihanna thing would never happen, it would have been Chris Brown. No, it would have still been Usher because of his the time period that he came out in. What? Yeah, nah. I, I wouldn't say no. I, I wouldn't. I'm saying time because Chris is gonna. He sh- deserves one regardless. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying because when Usher came out, yeah. So I think I it's get, more of a longevity oh, okay. thing. Okay. Okay. Like okay. Chris is gonna. He deserves one. But, but they're not gonna do they one. They wouldn't even let him perform. Well, they hate us for that. They, they, well, he need to do. Somebody else need to do it. Somebody can pick up on that. And guess what? Ratings are gonna go. Yeah. Cause oh yeah, he's definitely deserving. Oh it. for sure. Is. You know what makes Chris Brown great? Look who we're comparing him to. Yeah. You don't exactly. even you don't even put people in certain conversations mm-hmm. if you don't feel like they're not great. That's yeah. true. You yeah. know that's that's actually the whole and subject of this conversation. Anyway, it is. like it just shows you how much even through the drama and the stuff that didn't happen. Yeah. Still getting the comparison. You still yeah. getting those comparisons. So are you saying he's better now? No. No, no. <laughs> I'm standing on my uh he said, Hell no. standing on my stone. <laughs> my hand's still up. But like I was saying, like I totally agree. Like with, with social media and stuff like that. I mean, but that, that also works in reverse. Like people were talking about with Jordan. Like Jordan was so like, could you imagine that if we would have had social social media in bro. his time period? He would have had a burner. He would have had a burner. He definitely would have had a burner. Because he had to have a burner. He would have had to. He'd have been like KD on social media. I feel yeah, like he would have. <laughs> oh, shit, and then bro. proved it. Yeah. And then proved it. Gonna drop forty on your head tonight. Yeah, <laughs> he would have like, been. That's some. It shit. just would have been like a, a random jump man, Logie. I'm about. I'm gonna drop forty three on you, bro. I don't even think he would have had a burner. <laughs> look who we talking about. He no, wouldn't have had a burner. He he didn't give a fuck, bro. No, he didn't. he didn't. He didn't give a fuck, but he knew <clears throat> what to say and not to say. But he was the type that definitely there would have been some leaked audio footage of him talking mad shit. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna beat the brakes out of you and tell your wife hello after the game. And then he would go, <laughs> he would go and thrash you, and then that audio would come out after the game. <laughs> and the wife definitely would have said hello, 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 Mr. Jordan. And what can you do? Call me daddy. Hold your L. You hold your L. <laughs> now we boxing. Now we I go from <laughs> basketball to boxing. See how we didn't switch sports? Yeah. Catch him in the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I gotta get fine just because you talked some shit on. Uh... Everybody's seen it. 
Yeah, pre, but pre X, pre Twitter, whatever but, you called it. That is a a good comparison. So you know, it, it's created a lot of conversation. And we know what it is. That's that's it's all about the conversation. It's all about the engagement. But I feel bad for Chris in this situation because he don't want that comparison. He oh, don't. No, he like, don't. And that's a respectful <laughs> to me. It's just you know you when you know you great. You don't need to. You don't need to compare. You don't need to. You still realize. <clears throat> This person, I just hated. I had to compare them just now. It hurts my feelings. No, yeah, yeah, of course. But you still realize this person got me <laughs> to, to even at. think about dancing. <laughs> yeah. So you know how sometimes, like, if you let's say you super cold at See, at a at a sport or, or anything. Wait, before you go there, or wh- where where are you going with this? Because I hope it's not the because someone did it, I'm doing it now. Um, because someone did it before is the only reason. Mm-mm. Okay. No, it's, I'm going into the whole okay. like, I can see how Chris Brown may feel like watching Michael got me dancing in the TV at three or four. Because it just made me think about the it was a T Pain conversation. Sorry to move. No, on go ahead. This, but it was a T Pain conversation. T Pain go to. Jim. And they were they had Akon, Akon, T Pain, and somebody else, and then people were taking off Akon, and they were like, "Well, T Pain wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Akon signing him." And I'm like, no. "T Pain wasn't talented, so he just no. wasn't talented enough to just." No, I ain't, I'm not going down that bad. I it's, hate those. Though. It's, <laughs> it's it's just more on the line of like I'm talking about you, mm-hmm. like the artists themselves that we're talking. Like let's say we're talking about Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris shuts down those comments every time of those questions because he like bro i'm me i i started because what i watched mike doing for sure mm-hmm. that don't take away from your greatness but a lot of times you put the legends and the greats in a particular because you don't want to compare to you don't you like i wouldn't want to be mike compared chris was chris that's there just is. what it yeah. is like different you, generation, you just different wouldn't want to compare music, different all that so i kind of wish lebron did that more now like i know how he he you know feels like he's the greatest um and he's definitely the coldest I think he, in his he, era. He just kind of got tired of like having to avoid the. Conversation. But then I just shut it down, like because that's all, bro. These niggas don't even tell you about the game no more. This nigga stub his toe and oh, last night LeBron, <laughs> bro, LeBron pinky toe is going through slightly it. Slightly different, and they'll talk about it. Yeah, it's, it's like, bro, ridiculous. I'll be shutting them down. And Bronny's dealing with the same thing now at this poor, point. Yeah, poor Bronny, bro. Yeah. Like I couldn't imagine that, boy. <laughs> I wouldn't want my son, and, and and I know LeBron says LeBron says. He he more was catered to wanting to be liked by people, and he says Bronny doesn't have that same bug. But as a dad, it's still I really wouldn't want people talking shit about my son because every time I hear you giving an opinion on my child, I'm calling you. Hey, what was that? Yeah, what the hell? A lot of people to call, dude. Yeah, there's a lot <laughs> of people. You gonna, you but that's gonna... why I say I wouldn't necessarily. I'm just being honest. Yeah, like, as yeah, a dad, yeah. I wouldn't want a bunch of grown sure. ass men criticizing my 19 year old. Absolutely not, son. Like, no, nigga, let him develop. You was trash in your sport. Then they be you still trash. Then they be 55 off. with a beer belly. I'm like, sir, why are you even, even on these, social even media these, right Even now? these analysts. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. bro, you never picked up a ball a day in your life. You've always been a sideline watcher. So do that. Like, I would be talking shit. So that's why I don't, you know, I I tip my hat off to LeBron for even being able to be in that. So what you're saying is you'll be run. like KD. Yes, I'll be worse than KD. Yeah, KD is kind of n- a little nice. And I wouldn't, I'll be recording things. videos. I wouldn't fuck the tweeting. <laughs> hey, I want I want you nah, to see dub, me. How many times must I tell you? You yeah. gotta stop going on social media. Well, tell him to stop talking shit. <laughs> that's that's gonna be, be your representative. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be on you, my. Like, Every on, time man. you talk about my son, I'm pushing the button. <laughs> <laughs> come on, though. Just, come on, man. Uh, Shut up when you get in the button. It's, it's kind of like the same <laughs> oh, recent criticism of Before Cody. you go there, I was laughing because dog, Kevin Hart posted a picture oh, my God. and his son is like way taller than him. And mm-hmm. I go to the comments, of course, just thinking that people are just showing him love. And I'm like, that's a dope picture. No. You thought that? I don't know why you thought you that. You thought that, dog? Your why? son is the dad. Yeah. Where did he get the hype from? You know was was like, <laughs> Where did he get the hype from? That is. because nah, his, his son is like a head taller than him. Like, Damn. Sheesh. Like, I'm just like, yeah, my guy. I mean, which probably is nothing but like five, five, seven, seven. Damn. He probably is. Uh, but I think he's still in like school. It's <laughs> crazy. People are like, bro, where is he getting that hype from? Are you sure you're the father? <laughs> Look at your son with his family. I was like, come <laughs> on, dog. <laughs> That's stall the guy out, man. <laughs> they cold, bro. But like, what you gotta do? Turn lemons into it's a lemonade. lemonade, man. Like, uh, I'm short. But uh, let me step on this wallet. You st- yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You step on that wallet. He taller like everybody in them damn comments. Yeah, we go ahead and shut up. Yeah, <laughs> tall, but, broke ass down somewhere. Speaking of the the unnecessary, tall, broke the, ass. the random <laughs> criticism we was just talking about. How you know people just be saying whatever, and it's kind of tough. 
you know, the kind of living that lifestyle without wanting to lash back or create a burner. Uh, recently, uh, there's been a few people, and it's so fucking weird, people out here talking about how Cody Rose is not ripped enough since he, you know, he should be more ripped because he's the top right. guy. And I'm just sitting there like... Are you talking about body type? Yes, I was bro. just about to say, we talk about ripped. his body. And... I'm like, they didn't have a problem before, though, right? When, what the hell? Bro, niggas just be that's on. what you were talking about the other day. Uh, that was one of the things, but that's it was not, something else. Yeah, that's you know, <laughs> that I recently just found that out. I People was like, are weird. I'm bro. like, bro, wait, <laughs> are we talking about the same motherfuckers as are out here out of shape, barely can get to a WWE event without? Passing out from walking in the parking lots. We talking about these keyboard <laughs> warriors. To Dunkin' Donuts before yeah. they go into the. We event. talking about these keyboard warriors out here. Talking about somebody's not in shape enough to be the top guy. Insane. <laughs> Insane. Internet and is, you'll never be the top guy. It's a fake place for sure. <laughs> You're not even the top guy in your own life. Right. <laughs> what are we your, talking? Own, your own house. You're not even the main character in your you, own life. <laughs> not, bro. How you a side character in your own movie? You a side character. In your own game. And it, it's just, it'd be one of those things <laughs> where it's crazy. like, bro, we get it. You know, the bait, the engagement baiting and stuff like that. When I see stuff like that, and then you click on a profile, you got a whole nother women's wrestler as your profile, so I already know Some geek. where to put you in. I'm you, sorry. I didn't even say that. Yeah, you did. You, you did. said it right. Yeah, a, geek. a lot of these lame ass. I already be Mouth saying breather. it. I done went off already, so I don't got to keep doing it. <laughs> no, bro. Shout just... out to Samantha, because just when they was giving her hate just because of her announcing, when Samantha got hate, I just knew it was like, okay, mm-hmm. this is niggas with a mental disorder. Hey, I always say, <laughs> We were separated in elementary. Now we're all together. So I, I said this, we bro. Don't know who's what who. I, I tell people this all the what time. I said you got to remember that on the internet you have the special needs, you got the regular ones, you got the alternative mm-hmm. student, the alternative school kids, mm-hmm. all yeah. in one place. The C yeah. clusters with the AP so kids. You could be giving them, giving them a beautiful, uh, educated college, edu- college educated thesis mm-hmm. on how you feel about something, and then they gonna go. Nigga, you wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, damn. Just like that. Who am yeah. I even talking to right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> then you start to feel like the idiot for continuing to argue. Yeah. They're like, you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm <laughs> wrong. You're right. I'm in the But I just want you to say, leave it there. Let me know I told you so. <laughs> because after WrestleMania, what I tell you was going to happen. I said, bro, they're going to get bored. They're yeah. going to start finding reasons, mm-hmm. anything to just not start not liking Cody. That's how it works. Fans are yeah. so fucking all over the place. They yeah. don't know Emotions if they crazy. like somebody up or down. Mm-hmm. Once you start winning, the story is better than the success mm-hmm. once you make it. Like yeah. the, and that's for struggle. everybody. That's, it that's is. People, life in people general, hate too. success. LeBron, Chris Brown, all of them. Yep. I've seen a lot of people struggle to the top, and they were so highly supported. Mm. And once they got to the top, they don't care. They get there for oh, a while, and it's switch. like, oh, you, yeah, you different. These nigga think he all that. This nigga Hollywood. Buying, he buying Benzes. He buying the cars his dream. He buying houses. He, he living his life. He feeding his kids every day. That man, man out here breathing. He drinking water. <laughs> Like, what hell wrong with you, you man? Breathing air. I'm like, this nigga think he enough. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I hear sitting in chairs. Yeah, relaxing, <laughs> getting massages and shit. You need to be stressing like me. Straight up. That's, well, that's hell wrong with you be. getting haircuts. That's that that is <laughs> that's the truth, bro. The average mofo when they see a story going on. Mm-hmm. Cause once you make it, it's like, okay, we're done with you. Yeah. So I knew they were gonna be done with him. Mm-hmm. Especially when they start saying we want Roman. Mm-hmm. I yep. was like, "Oh, the flip, yep. the flip is coming. Yep. Flip so quick." Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we were able to talk about the wrestling, uh, reality of wrestling. Oh um, yeah, the aftermath. Mm-hmm. Shout out to oh. rea- reality of wrestling, bro. Yeah, man. I'm not they gonna lie. treated us like royalty. Brad Booker T. Yeah, Brad Booker, Everyone. Mark, yeah, Mark, Mark all Rage. of them, man. That was dope. Yeah, that was fun, man. All the people we met, mm-hmm. um, you know, it, it just was phenomenal. You know, and we were the type of people that me personally always were a little hesitant about meeting folks sometimes because it's two ways to it. One, you don't know who to trust. Mm -hmm. You don't know who really is genuine (coughs) about helping you. And two, never really wanted no one to feel like we needed them to get on. For sure. Because one thing I always used to notice about people, man, as soon as you get somewhere, they like to go back and say, well, I'm the one that uh put him in the door. I opened the door for Boy. him the first time. And the reason why he even know, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just like, 
I've always <clears throat> was against that stigma. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was why a lot of times I was a little bit hesitant. But you know, uh, uh, in praying and just you know, you know, letting the Lord kind of guide us to where we need to go and stuff like that, we're meeting the right people. Yeah, and that's what happened about when it happens when you have favor, the right people come in your corner. Not to say you're not gonna come across any ignorance or bad ones, but you learn how to decipher people early on. And mm-hmm. that's one thing that we're gonna start trying to do is tap into these different markets, you know, tap into these different uh getting these different rooms, mm-hmm. meet with people, collab and stuff like that. Cause just being over there and at the event it just showed me personally how many people wanted us to be there mm-hmm. they just really just wanted to be in, in the room with us and yep. i'm just like that's, that's the crazy tough. thing is half of them wouldn't even didn't even uh have the courage to come talk that's yeah, crazy. yeah. Right. <laughs> it was and it, it shocked me because i'm sitting there looking to the right and there's somebody mm-hmm. just staring at dub and i'm like what's going on <laughs> what's going on here? everything okay yeah, yeah. and he's looking like kind of wants to come over but yeah, not hesitant, sure yeah. and i'm like ain't that a wrestler though like yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of see y'all. yeah the guy that was on the uh one of the dudes a that just got those. done wrestling he yeah. still had the sweat on his body mm-hmm. yeah. he came straight off the damn uh wrestling ring to come and say yeah hey i'm your biggest fan i was like <laughs> and he <laughs> saw them he saw them when he uh came into the thing and then he like stopped and like looked mm-hmm. and was like Oh, okay. That was pretty cool. I'm going to have to show out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he turned up, and I didn't even know that because I was like, man, you just finished performing. And mm-hmm. I was like, hey, well, shout out to you. Yeah. Good job, uh-huh. man. You was out there killing it, doing your thing. <laughs> Keep doing it, and you know, you're going to really make a name for yourself the way y'all are They had some it. talent out there. Man, bro. like <laughs> not even knowing everyone. And, you know, I hate that we didn't give it just to learn. Or, well, we didn't know. So I'm yeah. never going to act fake and like, oh, yeah, hey, man, my guy. No, I just, we didn't we know. know. <laughs> but in not knowing, it just showed me how pure and innocent it was to just be able to go to an event and look at it from just an entertainment perspective yes without having a bias Mm -hmm. like that's the thing that i loved about it actually same it was it was non-biased we're not just going for cody because cody's the guy we're not just going for seth because Mm -hmm. his fashion um Mm -hmm. you know or randy because him being an og we rent Mm -hmm. we watched and enjoyed just strictly off the talent Mm -hmm. for sure they um they had a lot of talent out there man it was it was cool watching it because you like appreciated the talent a lot more. Mm-hmm. And I seen a lot of women that with a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me and Nisha like, did talk about that. They were like, like us as well. The girls was going crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were very flexible. Like, what is it, Maya World? And I was like, oh yeah, wow. Maya's I was a fan of Maya World for sure. Yeah. Um, what's, what's that girl was name? Was Promise. That? I like Promise a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Promise. And then tough. the. What the one the one that had the little she was a little oh, she was a yeah. heel oh yeah, was, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. One, one with the the stuff in her stocking or whatever. yeah yeah, what yeah, was yeah. The lady that had the little sexy red hair what's her name. I can't remember. She was, her with, name. Myers she was with Myra World. Though. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Unless, I don't know if that's the name of the tag team or. Yeah. No, I think she has her own. But yeah, I must say they probably. have their own name. Yeah. yeah. We're definitely going to link the Reality Wrestling mm-hmm. YouTube page. They were dope, man. Um, I started watching some of the videos uh, from the different episodes that they have from, you know, the series that they got going on. It's definitely dope, man. Mm-hmm. Booker, it's, Booker it's, T it's has stuff. something pretty tough going on. And shout out to Brad as well, man, for mm-hmm. preaching out to us. And I mean, he was just a wonderful, you know, host and anything we needed. He was down to, to help us out. And, you know, we was, we, we're simple people. So it's not yeah. like we like, hey, man, nah, I need to be on the stage. Nah, I need to be able to feel the wind of the bumps. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I need to be there. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, and that I think that's what helps to work with people when you're not difficult. And, mm-hmm. You know, so having good company and, you know, Mark, Mark Henry, bro. Mark Henry Goated. felt yeah. like a family member yeah. from the moment we sat down and, and start uh, chopping it up mm-hmm. at, that, sure. at that lunch. And, you know, it was just a joy to be able to sit there and kind of get some of those stories. It was cool to um, get threatened by him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, Steve, yeah. Got, Steve got threatened <laughs> by Mark Henry. But he That's threatened cool a lot dude, of people, man. bro. Yeah, he, he cool, man. <laughs> nah, he's super cool, bro. And uh, just, just being able to have him out there and just kind of, you know, experience – how they move when mm-hmm. they see each other. Like when mm-hmm. I seen Mark and Booker T uh, see each other for the first, I'm like, oh, that's cool. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, nah. Them interacting. Shout out to Zilla, man. Zilla, um, you, man. the one wrestler I did know and we were uh, aware of. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about genuine. Oh yeah. Like as soon as we came H-Town. to the door, he was like, "Hey, what's up?" It's it was always funny to me <laughs> meeting a Houstonian Samoan. Yeah. Yes. Like I, yeah. I don't I don't see that combination or I haven't known personal. Uh, relationships with a lot of people like that. Yeah. So seeing him being Samoan, and, but he got like that Houston swag. It yeah. was like cool and cool. Yeah, yeah. I was but just he like, bro. Just like the family, though. Like, yeah, they all look alike. For sure. He looked like the, one of the twins. Yeah. I told y'all, yeah, the Jay. one that wear blue. 
J. 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 I'm like, that's his. Sure, that ain't his child. <laughs> he was just like him. Nah, be, he be. definitely, definitely was clearly family. And yeah, yeah. Nah, it was dope meeting because I was like, oh yeah, you could tell he a real Houston, Houston person. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah no, nah, he got that Houston swag. I said, mm-hmm. man, you can't, you can't double down on the cool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, yeah, you double down on the cool, bro. Because Samoans are always like just cool in general. Yeah, and and yeah. just having that Houston swag with it. Oh man, you're gonna kill a game with already. Game. Yeah, I can see him soar. He's gonna soar. He's gonna yeah. go. He got the oh, persona. Yeah. Like the he way had he, the R for sure. Yeah. yeah. The, the way the crowd was going. As soon as he came out. Yeah. Moment yeah. Teddy. Everybody standing up. Shout out to Teddy as Bro, well. Shout out to Teddy for sure. The yeah. moment he had not man. That shit went crazy. My boy yeah. told Brandon that he looked like you gonna need to go one on one with the Undertaker. That boy said, Oh it was just dope to to surprise him as well. He didn't even know where we was going. No clue. if y'all didn't see the vlog, Brandon. Brandon didn't even know where he was going. We even pulling up to lunch to eat with Mark Henry before we went there. Mm-hmm. And uh, from there, he still didn't know he was going to meet Booker T, Teddy Long, and, you know, hear all the the, the things that we heard as kids, mm-hmm. the, 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 the one-liners, the yeah. holla, holla, hollas. Yeah, you know, man. It, it was, was definitely dope. dope to see. Yeah, this was a dope experience. And many more, uh, you know, we just halfway through with the year. We got many more places. We're going to check out many more events. Uh, we got to definitely hit up at some point a WWE show. I think that's going to be. I oh, just, yeah. I just sent him that's a text the other day because uh, my buddy, I, I don't know how I forgot. Um, my buddy, he uh, wrestles in, da- he oh, wrestles yeah, in Dallas. He's in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing it for a few years now. Mm-hmm. And uh, he just signed with another company. So he was like, showing his flyer uh, I had sent it to Doug yeah, and uh, he showed, showed me the flyer and stuff and he's like I, I think he's moving up pretty quickly oh, okay. and it's pretty dope seeing oh, that so cool. I was like we oh. may have to go out there and check him out one time oh, oh for sure yeah, yeah bro um, it's one of them things where it's like uh, I told Ross um, I mean season two of WWE rise to you know about to have to do like a uh, <laughs> vlog to different arenas and stuff That'd be dope. <laughs> Here, bro. I've been telling the homie, bro. He's just... trying to get us in the ring. Man. Nah, this man been trying to get you in the ring every time. He trying to get me in the ring, man. Well, we're going we're gonna to have to put that together. Jesus. One day. That's gonna be All you got to do is be like, uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, the one with the Hawaiian shirts and stuff. What is his name right now? Are you talking about Grayson Waller? Grayson Waller. Oh. Yeah. That's all you got to do. That's all I got Just to run. Just start just running. running. <laughs> you could be a Miz. Just come in. Right, the Miz. The Miz, too. Uh, come in, be fly, and then, you know, just. You got to gotta fight, fight. Eventually, I gotta take a, a, a some type of spot. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, it's gonna be an easy one though. It ain't gonna oh, be like just a easy just one. quick one. It's not gonna be like no Braun Breaker type of spot. Uh, <laughs> you don't I'm, want that smoke. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you right. Or the you heard the smacks live. Yeah. Yeah. Reed, they didn't sound too bad, right? No, nah, they sounded <laughs> real bad. <laughs> real bad. Yeah, like, damn, they like, got some mics on the ring or something. Nah, and Brad was like, no mics. Like, there's no mics. That was all. Damn. When oh, old boy was hitting them on top of the, uh, they were on top of the cage. The yes. first match was a cage match. Mm-hmm. So that let you know what kind of night we was in They for. set it off. And when homie was up there beating up on a dude from New York, and I was seeing him swing full force like... Yeah. I'm like, hold he, on. He was hold on. It was when they was slapping each other. Their chests were all red. No, yeah, the chops. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, nah, bro. I so get it. Some some moves. Yeah, nah, like nah, bro. All right, bro don't whisper and tell me you're gonna chop me. No, no, I, I don't, don't agree. It's about to come. <laughs> it's not. It's not, nigga. I'm about to block it. You finna be fighting here for real. This. You fighting for real? I told you not to do that. Shit hurt. <laughs> Shit hurt. <laughs> Fire, but um, yeah, no, nah, it was it was definitely dope, man. Mm-hmm. So look forward to us uh, connecting with them yeah. uh, more often because everybody seemed genuine. The wrestlers mm-hmm. were all oh, very yeah. polite. They wasn't stuck up. They wasn't what you probably would read or think. Um, certain wrestlers would be. I'm talking. About everyone had a a smile when you you know gave them their love for what they were doing. It was all thank very appreciative. Yeah. Um, everyone had a good energy about them. So, yeah, no, nah, that was that was definitely dope. Dope. Experience. My kind of crowd. And look forward to working with them again soon. Yeah, and the crowd too. Before I get it off mm-hmm. the crowd, I mean, it seemed like people were so invested into the storyline. You can tell this is a group of people that come to every show. Yeah, I mean, you got a product. When yeah, people it, are like, nah, and they cheering for certain people, and we're like, oh, this must be the guy that everybody's yeah. going for, bro. You could tell you know? the heels, you could tell the baby faces. Mm-hmm. Like, I yeah. just learned these terms properly. That's why I keep using. Them. Uh, shout out to Ross. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> I said heels yeah. and baby faces. Yeah, or tweener, <laughs> or tweener. Yep, yep. Tweener, tweener. Mm-hmm. Which is still a weird word to me. It's very it, weird. 
tweener. But, <laughs> sounds like you a wiener. Like, I kind of understood it, but I was like, I never actually used these terms. Let me actually use these yeah. terms. Am I using these right? That's why <laughs> oh, I asked I'm them. I had to ask them. I was like, <laughs> baby face is like the good guy, the nice little sweetheart. Yeah, whatever. yeah. And then you got the, the heel is like the savage, the dude coming out, the uh, uh, Brock Lesnar type. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> gotta let it go, man. Gotta let it go, bro. Speaking of let it go, ultimate heel. Uh, <laughs> I have a final question mm-hmm. before we end the pod. Uh, oh, this this is resulting to something that came up in the stream we had I, um, when it came to like relationships and people not letting you're go. For the segue. No, I'm just okay. Yeah, just you're childish. Since, you're, since you're telling me to let it go. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're childish. Uh-oh. Touche. You're um, so childish. <laughs> you're so childish. As soon as he said, "Let it go." <laughs> He said, let it go. Yeah, let I already go. knew, bro. Okay. Uh, this is a deep one. <laughs> oh, this is, is a real one. Um, <laughs> no, sure no, no pun intended. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Where are we going? What's so hard mm-hmm. about letting go of to- toxicity? Mm. You been back with toxicity? I just want to. I just want to. Not as recent, recent. Because we What's spoke recent, about it. Recent? We spoke about it on the stream because somebody had the same issue. Mm-hmm. Like of dealing with somebody and they were just like, you know what? They were doing this. I cut oh, them off yeah. and I let it go. Okay. Yeah. So that's the homie HK. I know that's the first one. HK. And yeah. then somebody else uh, put a message as well. My memory's not uh, leaving me. But mm-hmm. I'm not too much familiar in that department. And I know somebody like you have been through that. Oh my God. But. <laughs> I thought it would be dope for you to speak on it because I think that'll help somebody else overcome that. <laughs> what is recent recent? You answer that he question. Oh, to pod. Not you not said you want to pod. Or you, you, know, you trying to pod. You know, you trying to take us out there. It's got to be hella recent now. You, nah, you, it was like hella recent. It was hella, say, that was hella recent. Now. Come on. Right? Now you bullshit. That was like See, I'm trying to let you cook. That's recent. Nah, when you went to the club, was it that If recent? I shoot you three weeks ago, you're going to feel you like that bullet just got in your body. No, no, this was before that. Okay. okay. This was like two weeks before. It was, it was like <laughs> when was that? It had to be no, like I got the, you Yeah, you got you want me to go to the car? Yeah, well, yeah, go to July. the car log. So we're saying July. Okay. Yeah, yeah it was definitely July. Okay. Go to the call log. July. So it was like it had to be like three uh, four and three, four weeks. <laughs> you really you really keep talking. for it? Yeah. yeah. You keep so what? So yeah. what happened? What are we talking so about? So basically, uh, I mean, you don't got to like. No, you ain't got to like nobody publicity, yeah, but, details, but no the, the conversation yeah, was. Yeah, I'm not asking for like. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> the conversation was about letting go. Yeah, no. Nah, so basically, it was a situation that you know I you know reconvened ah, and uh, it didn't, didn't work out. He didn't let go. You went back. It didn't work out. I thought it. it I thought it was in the makings of working out, and then it went left. What made went, you think that? Because of what I saw the person July twenty July twenty. Okay. 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 So that's almost, almost a like month. month. Yeah. yeah. So but it was basically what I had saw initially. You like, thought change was happening? I thought change was happening. Okay. It was it, it seemed like it was or when I even had a conversation with Dub about it too. And he he was just like, Hey, just you know, be careful with it, you know what I'm saying? Because I know Cause I was situation. Over it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But how do you tell your homie something like that? Without making them not, as a man, you can't really tell another man mm-hmm. what Don't to do. Don't do it. Especially when you say, hey, that stove yeah. hot, bro. It's going to burn. And you're like, nah, but the, the burn is feeling Kinda good. Kind of want to feel it a little I, bit. I, you were right. It burns. It hurts. You didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not how the conversation went. But. Right, but. Go ahead. Anywho. I so feel like that probably was a, based on how he just explained. I'm guessing that was a conversation of, okay, do what you want. If I of, told you the stove was hot five He's like, hey, times. hey, be careful, do what you want, type of thing. Yeah, it was just okay, like, hey, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens. And he it had didn't no work faith. out. <laughs> well, I based mean, off of his conversation, it was just like, I'm always reserved mm-hmm. on people's end because sure. I'm not there. Yeah. So when you saying something about someone changing or whatever, I'm like, all right. Maybe well, she did. Yeah, like, I can't really yeah. judge someone to who am I to always say, nah, that, she ain't changed. Mm-hmm. Pretty much how I probably would have responded. I can't. Mm-hmm. So if you. If you at that point where you just like, you know that you know that you know, I'm just mm-hmm. like, hey, well, be careful. That's yeah. all I can tell you at that point. Yeah. And, you know, it didn't work out. It it went uh, worse than I expected it to. But for me, it was just one of those things where I was like, all right, cool. I, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, this is, you know. Ooh, interception. <laughs> just <laughs> making sure. <laughs> one of those things <laughs> where, you know, he's <laughs> doing This is one of those Thanks, things Steve. where you, um, you know, you kind of 
you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. And it's one of those things where it's like, I I can't blame nobody else but myself. I'm not mad. I'm mm-hmm. mad at what happened, but yeah. I, I get it. It's like, well, this is what happens when you open up a door that you probably should have kept closed, but you wanted to see what was up and you wanted like to a, see the good. It's like a relationship crackhead. <laughs> right? What? No. Like, it's an addiction that's not good for you, but I you, would you still can't try shake it. it. You can't shake it. I wouldn't even say that. Because for me, it wasn't an addiction. Because it was just like... Because I had been without it for a while with this particular person. It was... I wasn't even the one that reached out. But you saw some white stuff on the floor. (laughs) No. It wasn't even that. I genuinely believed the person changed. I did. That wasn't even... No, that's understandable. (laughs) I genuinely believed the person changed. So, for me, when I was like, okay, once this happened, I was good. And I didn't feel bad i got you with the okie doke it felt different from how before yeah when yeah because i i before i would have those moments of damn i miss this person or whatever and all this other stuff but for me it was just like nah that's it i i needed to see what happened unfortunately how it happened how hot was the stove oh it was extremely hot <clears throat> no i'm saying damn. you needed to see how hot it was well yeah but it was just one <laughs> so of those things where hot. when you get to that point <laughs> it was extremely hot for what happened. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but when you get to that point where you just like, yeah, it's not worth the hassle. No matter how much this person claims they'll change, it's just not meant for us. It's and not worth your I, car either. And Nisha, <laughs> you posted it. Your though. car. <laughs> you definitely posted it. What did you do to your car? I didn't do nothing to you my car. To well, don't Nisha because you so. Was on Instagram walking in. Uh, well, sure. this which, which one? Come on, which bro. one? Take it down. Oh, Take at least it, it wasn't the red one. I mean, it's still. Damn, at least. <laughs> yeah, it is a little I'm bit. Trying of, to make it's it, still I'm trying bad. to take some pressure off. Shit off a movie scene. I was like, did this really happen to him for real? <laughs> oh, she wrote a name in it. Nah, she what's, it up. What's the <laughs> letting go thing though? Like, she what, said, forget what, the name. What's so hard about letting go? Well, for me, I'm good now. Are you? Yeah, you went back. No, you I, said I, that I, three I times. Believe he is. Wait, I, three times. Wait, 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 wait. You're not getting to the meat of the the the. Well, reasoning. for me, I keep telling you for keep I, going back. That wouldn't a keep going back thing though. No, I'm not now, but I'm saying like from before, like How do we get from to three? from like a year or two ago, right? Mm-hmm. Like from the initial. Come on, brother. We we've been <laughs> wall holes in the wall. Like, I mean, that what's, was what's the hard thing about the letting go process though? Like, what is it like a she had qualities, I'm guessing, that you liked a yeah, lot. Yeah, there was a, there were some good qualities that I did like, but yeah, I, guess I that's had what I'm to, trying to, get to go through. I would have to deal with the extra stuff just to get some of the good stuff. So it was one of those things where it's like, I'll be like, maybe I do got to kind of deal with this just, you know, to get the good side of it. You're trying to save her. But at the same time. And that could be a, a thing too. Probably just trying to, you know, like, hey, maybe I can. Don't save her. Don't want to save my brother. You know, Cole said it. But you know, it was just one of those things where I was like, you know what? Is I'm not as at peace as I should be. Granted, it's not gonna ever be perfect with anybody. I'm about to say it's not. It's never gonna be perfect, but it shouldn't be to that level. I'm guessing it shouldn't be to that level. Like, there's certain mm-hmm. things where I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Mm. And then that, then I start to realize that there's certain <clears throat> things that she hasn't unpacked or that person hasn't unpacked and gotten help for or seeked out that type of help because there's a lot of trauma. And mm. granted, you want to be there for someone even if you know that you find out their past trauma and stuff like but that. But you're not a psychiatrist. Auto- automatically, but, we all take on that yeah role of wanting to save when there's only so much. Yeah. yeah, and I, I think. In the past, that's kind of what it was. Just that idea of maybe this could, you know, when it's good, it's good. But then when it's bad, it's bad. It's bad. And Javon Davison. <laughs> say, Javon Davison. Shout out to Javon. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Mm-hmm. Hold that thought. You're yeah. calling forward to an Arctic voice. On, call it in, hang up. <laughs> call that man. Y'all hear that clicking? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Is that from the phone? I'm guessing. Is Warren's audio? Is it my mic? You see the level with the phone? Yeah, but listen, it's just don't hold you like two. 
It's off now. I thought I said it's off. Oh, yeah, it's off now. That's what I said it was your audio. Yeah. Oh, girl. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in tonight. So, whatever. Okay. <laughs> that was random <laughs> reality. Yep. Uh, but nah, um, I think it's just, you know, realizing that I, I don't think that's something that I need to be even like, you know, trying to take on on top of everything else that I may be dealing with. Mm-hmm. And, and it doesn't make me a bad person because I didn't want to take it on. Because I think that's what it was. Ultimately, um, I was viewing myself as maybe so I'm not accountable for. Yeah. Like, cause she going through something and, or have dealt with something and I'm not really trying to be there to also, I guess, help her maneuver through it. Cause for me, it's like, I, I don't know if that's something I want to do yeah. for the longest. I just felt like that's something I, I probably should have done. So two things. Mm-hmm. Well, honey. That was a good thing, though. It, well, it, I'm, I'm gonna give him. You, you have the heart, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna say like, it's a heart. Like, and that's understandable. Like, you probably felt like you needed to save her. Mm-hmm. Like we were saying, essentially. Um, she don't want to be saved. It comes to a point, of course, where you realize you probably aren't at that level to where you can actually save her. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> two. She uh, also could easily have been just manipulating in this period in this mm-hmm. time frame. So this this is a, a point where she's realizing that you have that one, the heart, and two, she's using her manipulation skills mm-hmm. to mess with the heart. Mm-hmm. Can Absolutely. I can I weigh on that? Go Sometimes ahead. some women and I know some women that are like that. Into they the will <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I know some women that are like that that will like I said manipulate and they'll use good men and I said that's a warm before you have to find a woman that can use the gifts and the love and the nurturing that you have and use you. it for the good, for the good, not mm. for the bad. Cause sometimes women can change you. Oh yeah. And yeah. that, and a lot of that evil ways and spitefulness she had can come on to you mm-hmm. and it can change your ways. So you really have to be careful who you allow into your space for sure. because some women will actually change you into the worst and they don't benefit you in no kind of way. Amen. And, and your soul time with a person <clears throat> sexually mm-hmm. protect um, your peace or you have that one thing that feels good mm-hmm. but you're dealing with so much else but the else the the extra is weighing down on you more over time you're mm-hmm. only looking at the good when all this other shit is just cutting you yeah. skin deep mm-hmm. but you just seeing the good and you just like oh that hurts but I'm finna keep on it's almost the the, the comparison to a person being over a ledge and you trying to get them from falling into the, the mm-hmm. lake and yeah. you grabbing them with their hand to lift them up, but then they hold you with two hands and try to yeah. bring you back down into the water with them. Mm-hmm. Like you, you, it's just, it's, it's human mentality that comes with maturity. Mm-hmm. And over time you realize like your self-worth at, uh, at least what I would think as you age, you get wiser with what I should deal with, what I shouldn't deal with, mm-hmm. what I can put up with, what my flaws are, Mm -hmm. where my flaws start to leak over into the problem too, because Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you were perfect in the situation. Mm -hmm. You will add, but because once your cap is full, Mm -hmm. now you start to pour into the negativity too with your problems. And now it's Mm -hmm. just like a whole cluster F with emotions and I've been dealing with you, but da 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 da. And then now it's like, now Mm -hmm. you don't, now you feel apologetic because well, damn, I did do this. And then now you start looking at all the bad you've done. Yeah, yeah. But it's mm-hmm. a result of your cup overfilling to For the sure. point to where, of course, your negative was going to come out. Mm-hmm. But now so much negative is mixed in together. You don't want to place a blame on anyone because mm-hmm. you can't you feel tell like, which one's apart. Exactly. Yeah. And that that's an overtime thing. Sometimes <laughs> it's instant with some people, but a lot mm-hmm. of times it slow cooks into that. And that's mm-hmm. why I wanted to bring the conversation about letting go. Not to be funny, but I, I see a lot of people... And it's with drugs. It's with, uh, it's a lot of abuse. Mm. Some people just feel that I love this person. I shouldn't let them go. Mm. He loves me. The only way of showing love is him putting his hands on me. Mean he loved me, mm. in a way. And that's how a lot of women, yeah. unbeknownst to us, feel. Mm. It may come to us as a surprise, but if some, if you weren't getting love a certain type of way, and then someone who do show you that love, genuinely love you in a way but also abuse you you don't know that that's not true love because mm-hmm. that's the only person that ever probably said the words to you or ever probably yep. cared mm-hmm. for you or opened the door for you yep. you know so it's it's important to know your values become 100 percent in tune with who you are and what you can deal with 
Mm-hmm. And if you have personal trauma, don't date nobody. Because trauma mixed is the worst solution ever. Because mm-hmm. two traumas bashing together is chaotic. You yeah. can't get peace out of two batches of trauma mixing together. Mm-hmm. Right? And then that's where you get the toxic Kendrick Lamar track where he was like, mm-hmm. no, F you, F, F you, you, F you. And then yeah. they just get to going at it and everybody like, ooh. That's all we saw. Mm-hmm. We didn't see. We ignored the argument. Like the whole six minutes of bullshit was pretty much breezed over once they started getting into me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we like, oh, that's where the good stuff at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's a way that we've kind of started to groom ourselves in a way to think, mm-hmm. especially social media wise. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of them things that I just wanted you to kind of touch on and just see, you know. Letting go, why is it so hard in your perspective? Because it's probably something that somebody can resonate. Yeah. Um, initially, it was tough, but with this last situation. Mm-hmm. Was there a turning point thing? I think it was... Hold it on. Was, go ahead, because I know you're going to walk in front of the camera. Oh, I forgot that camera was there. I'm sorry. I look at the kids at the school. No, I'm clapping on that one. <laughs> what was the turning point like? Like... Because I know it's usually something that's like, all right, bro, nah, you really true. <laughs> I think uh, it was just a situation of, um, it's like, it was always something mm-hmm. that she was going through. And it was just like, for me, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I've had yeah. enough. It's like, I you get it, point. but it's like, I don't know what you want me to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I had gotten to that point, And then, then I just wasn't even like, I wasn't even trying to have like, sexual relations with her like that because I, I just started, I had checked out started yeah. losing attraction completely yeah it was just like it's not physical no more I'm not feeling it you know what I'm saying even on that aspect I'm just kind of not there and then you know everything you know transpired and then I like when she was like yeah I think it's best for me to go my separate ways I was like okay I didn't fight for it and I think that's what made her upset because I I didn't fight for it. You were done. I, I was like, you were right. already through. I was like, all right, cool. That's what you want to do. Cool. And then that kind of spurred on everything else. And then it once everything else escalated, I was like, this is why. Hmm. This is exactly why. You proved I'm, my point. You proved yeah. my point. I was like, you know what? I ain't perfect, and maybe I could have been there for you better or whatnot. But at the end of the day, I got to realize it involved what I want to is important Mm -hmm. and i can't just keep trying to conform to what i would want out of a relationship to mix with what you want especially if it's just not gelling the way it should be Mm because i just feel like if you're in a relationship it ain't gonna be perfect but it should be that common common theme between y'all two where it's like this is the base level it doesn't go any place outside of this. We build off of this it's base foundation. Level. Yeah. And once I feel like it's, it's wishy-washy, there's always something, and, and it'd it be like one minute you're good, and then the next minute you're not good, but then you are good enough to <laughs> go out when you shouldn't be going out. Mm, and it, wow. it, it becomes the little things start to irritate me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then that's why I was like, yeah. I mean, I gave it a chance. And I maybe shouldn't have, but I gave it a fair chance. And it, it this time around for me, it was just like, okay. You're right. All right, cool. <clears throat> so to anyone that, you know, it's unfortunate because sometimes you have to go through multiple times with a person. And when you're thinking about, oh, I'm going to leave them alone and all this other stuff, it happens. That's mm-hmm. just part of human nature, wanting to be with someone that you care about. But it's going to be a point and you don't want to wait till it's too late. But it's going to be a point where it's like, you know what? You got to like really sit down and weigh the positives and the negatives. Mm-hmm. And what are you willing to deal with? And that's what I did. I weighed the positives. I weighed the negatives. And I started to realize the negatives is not something that I want to deal with. Like, I started asking those questions. Like, when we was having a conversation, would you be okay if this person was the mother of your child? Oh yeah, I mean, that is a huge question. That's a question. And at first, I was like, "Oh, I can make it work," but then I start, start seeing, reflecting. You start seeing things. I was like, "I don't know about that." I think I we had that about conversation that. Uh, mm-hmm. about to go see Brandon. Mm-hmm. I was like, and, "I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't know about that." You start picking up on things, and 
you know. It's, and that, and that's why I asked him that. We we actually had this conversation mm-hmm. before. Um, we went to go meet Brandon in the mm-hmm. hospital when we found out when we was going to go see him, visit mm-hmm. him. When I asked him, I said, hey, you saying everything is all good and all that and whatnot, and I don't know what the real ins and outs are because I know you're going to, you're naturally going to leave stuff out that you're going through because mm-hmm. um, you want to paint a good picture. But I said, no matter what's happening, ask yourself this when you go home. Can you see yourself having a child with this person or being the mother of your children? Mm-hmm. And I said, it because it don't matter what I say mm-hmm. at that point. Because as a friend, you feel like I could tell the homie not to keep hitting his head, but he going to keep hitting it as much as he feel like his head can take the hit. Mm-hmm. So after a while, it becomes redundant, and it also can irritate a friendship because yep. it's like, bro, I done told you like over and over. And it's mm-hmm. like, you don't want to become like a, like you telling You don't want to sound like a dad. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't. Like I already have children. So when the homies be doing certain <clears throat> things, I'm the type of person where I don't like to continue giving advice to someone that's not going to take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that. Because when you be calling on certain, you don't even be telling me half the stuff you're talking <laughs> Because you already know I'm be like, bro, right, you woman. Because I'm always be honest. Like, I'm not going to bullshit you. Because I would want the same thing back to me. Like, I would For want sure. you to let me know when something, because sometimes we don't see things in our perspective and we need a different view. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things where it's just like when you feel like you're telling the homie something because your worth is more than what you're allowing yourself to deal with. It's it's it becomes like ah you know mm-hmm. like so I just think of things that I'm gonna make the person think mm-hmm. so hey bro you want to be with a cool that's fine go crazy can you if if you slip up and you mm-hmm. get her pregnant can you be the are you gonna be good with that situation mm-hmm. then you clearly must have started thinking because <laughs> you told me like yeah bro thought about what you said and you know but it was just like one of them things where. This is the type of traits that you're going to be sending off on your offspring. You know, mm-hmm. like and your mindset, y'all can't even <clears throat> agree on little things. How you think what's going to happen when you get a child? And like, no, I don't want my mm-hmm. child doing certain things. And mm-hmm. Those arguments are going to be way worse. Whew. You know, and then now it's a child involved. It's a different it's a, battle. It's a mm-hmm. life. And now you really, that'll make you do things that you wouldn't even think you would do. And now you signed a contract at that point. A lifetime. <laughs> Yep. I know some people think, oh, I'm 18, shit. Uh-huh. Nah. The, the wedding, the, the whatever, whatever. If you are in a parent that's in their life, you're going to show up for everything. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. Did you, when you Meaning. get grandchildren, anything, you're going to always be faced with that reality. Mm-hmm. So, so that's to everybody out here that just be thinking it's cool. Y'all be seeing these celebrities just having kids. That stuff is not cool, man. <laughs> the cele- I mean, the, the kids always lose at the end of the day when... Mm-hmm. Mom and dad is arguing on social media. You got Blueface and what's her name? Krishan. Krishan yeah, they doing going what they're doing. Jail. Like, well, you know. In jail. And now the kid is what? Just About out there. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's very unfortunate. I'm always considering the kids because adults, you have your chance. You still can always change. Anybody can. But the kids are the pure innocent ones. And when they're mm-hmm. getting taken advantage of, or they're not getting the same up peaceful upbringing like some other that they could be having mm-hmm. it bothers me because mm-hmm. i wish you know they don't they didn't ask to be here they no. didn't Actually. and they come in with all this you know but yeah i ain't gonna try to make it so serious <laughs> but i feel like you should have got that off oh no man it's all so good, we bro. so we done oh yeah i've been chilling finito mm-hmm. capiche mm-hmm. Okay. Kaput. yeah i've been what, what other other that? i don't know wait what but i've heard you said kaput 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 I've never heard that before. That's first. You guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, man. I'm I'm good, bro. I, that was it for me. I was like, oh, mm-mm. <sighs> unfortunate, but you know what I'm saying? Fortunate. You know. To have you, girl. <laughs> or to not have you. Yeah, to not, <laughs> to have, not you. have you. To but literally. Not, yeah, it's just <laughs> one of those things where, you know, hey, if you're going through it, if you have that, just have those hard questions. I know it's going to be tough to ask yourself these because mm-hmm. you, sometimes you don't want to because you know the answer, mm-hmm. yeah. but you don't want well, like, to ask I like this question. toxicity. You know, it's, it's just it too may, good. It may be something that you're enjoying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, the, enemy, the enemy has a very appealing way to mm-hmm. make things. He has a good way to make things look appealing. You mm-hmm. know, just think about Adam and Eve and mm-hmm. Eve with the apple. Yeah, like, the enemy will manipulate and he destroy. He made that. No, no, you, man, you don't want this apple. Come on, man. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? And, you know, like, this one, this one going to give you the knowledge. Like, God, like, he just don't want you to think like him. Mm-hmm. You're going to be able to do what he do. 
Yeah, he gonna hit Adam. Look, look, see, mm-hmm. women, y'all started it. Cause <laughs> hey, we go. <laughs> yeah, Adam. I say it all the time. I say, man, Adam most actually, movies, most shows. Who is the main problem? Susie if Eve wouldn't have went and did that to Adam, <laughs> <Just stupid. laughs> we would be good right now. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to, I used to have words for Adam and Eve back in the day. Nobody thought about that. No pain. No. <laughs> all right, yep. I'm potting too much. You are, I'm but I'm revealing uh, too much. You are, but it also brings up the topics of the man versus woman type situation. You know, we don't want to do it's that. A, it's a joke, and no, we don't no. want to do that because we need. Or am I? Oh my god! Y'all need us. We need y'all. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's we fight. need hey, each other. Y'all are real, <laughs> literally. Big Le- facts. Literally. <laughs> taking it out. Can't, can't, can't do without it. You feel me? Still so taking it. <laughs> You're a part of me. But now, nah, um, this was a dope one. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was a very good one. Do y'all believe? Uh, what's her name? She's a Muslim now, or whatever. Who? Uh, uh, the renter, yeah. yeah, I did see something about it. Uh, yeah, I saw a picture. And here's where I am with it. Wait, she's a she's actually con- like, something. I ain't she's gonna say that? Muslim, but I know. Like, I think believe she is a uh, something uh, converting. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing. I don't. I, I don't. So long as I saw, I was just like, stuff. okay. That's basically what I did. I was like, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what you do? I don't invest in it. Yeah, but I'm not no. judging. If if what if Absolutely she actually not. if she actually did change, then kudos to her. That's awesome. That's dope because yeah. people. The only problem nowadays is we're growing on social media in real time. Mm -hmm. So people will hold you to your faults. Uh Even when you may have surpassed the change. Like I was saying earlier, you like you you had to pass it and you know, that one little thing messes up your future. Yeah. Or kinda could be the same situation for her. She still looks that crazy right Mm -hmm. now because of her past and Mm -hmm. maybe she's truly converting. Who knows? You don't know. For the people that says Michael Vick shouldn't own dogs, you know, that is guys insane. Are idiots. I mean, the dude has passed it. You know, but let people make mistakes and keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. Just because we don't know your mistakes and yeah. what's going down in your secret closet <laughs> does not mean you can judge everyone else in the world. with them skeletons, boy. Mm-hmm. Skeletons, you probably don't want to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not at all. That's why it's just one of those things where. You learn from your mistakes, like you were saying. I can see if you got skeletons, and then you be sh- you be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I know I ain't. Playing. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. They yeah. did what they did. Yeah. <laughs> but to have skeletons and be so loud, mm-hmm. there's like, a lot of people out there, bro. A lot of people like that. a lot of people. Some people, you know, you be like, hmm, that's you're making that take. Okay. Some people be loud and live. <laughs> like, yeah. Why are you live? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Anywho, <laughs> enjoyed it, man. Uh, yeah, no, again, indeed. this was a good one. Felt mm-hmm. good, huh? Mm-hmm. Releasing that. Do that more often, huh? I mean, I, I had been released it. Pause. He said, I, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hey, that mean? yo, like, what does that mean? <laughs> I've been released. Somebody whatever. get this sick freak, <laughs> <laughs> whatever issue it was. Sicko mode. <laughs> I, I had been. So I'm gonna talk about it because you know, sometimes our what we go through and our transgressions mm-hmm. is a testimony to help yeah. somebody else. Oh. There's somebody right now in mm-hmm. their 20s dealing with a toxic female mm-hmm. who probably he feels like has the best whatever in the world mm-hmm. and he's mm-hmm. sticking with it because mm-hmm. everything else is just I'm gonna just deal with it because this is it so she's cheating on me because it's my fault which is yeah. I see a lot of that yeah so ooh, whoa, whoa, that one hit a, did that hit something I've, yeah, no I've seen it from okay oh, wait a second. <laughs> nah. I'm just good I'm good at just being like all right yeah me too that's the type of time the we moment bit. it feels like it is destroying my peace I'm I'm yeah. gonna be like cool yeah <laughs> the Niles the, the, the Niles shout out to Niles man shout out to him dope, shout out to the dope, homie bro dope contact but love this if y'all enjoyed mm-hmm. the pod you already know what to do this is episode 102 mm-hmm. so we're two in past the 100 yeah. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the 102 Dalmatians rendition of the Dalmatians uh-huh. yes sir <laughs> you got the black and white on. that's all what you did there. you know what I'm saying you got the blue and white I got the red gold uh, we, 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 we <laughs> get each other you going to the Texans uh, situation I am going to the okay. Texans game tomorrow I need to get some tickets it's tomorrow yes uh, it's going to be 12 it's a home game right yup Giants Ooh. preseason Oh, they said they were going to play the starters, too, a little bit more? I think they may give them one more series. Oh, okay. They did, like, two two or three series last game. What time it start? Looking good. 12. You going? Oh, no, I ain't planning on going. I'm bringing Major. Because I'm going to be at my... uh, Kess said she was doing her hair. I was like, cool, Major's coming. Oh, that's awesome. That's That's Major. No, I got... uh, Me and Nisha got them some jerseys, so... Man. I'm about to take uh, Zandam and just ride to some games this season. They're going to enjoy that. I've been trying to look for, you know... 
<laughs> Good meeting here with the price, you know. Let that. me know. I'm just been you know, I really, I, I really want to sit on the third floor, but I'm remember when we seen it? Oh, when we had to walk through oh, the, gotcha. the little, the little um, section, the club. Yeah, the club. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Basically, club. was the club. I I used to sit in that section when we would, uh, mm -hmm. when I helped out my dad's best friend. Mm -hmm. He worked with this band that did like the halftime uh, show in that section. Oh, tough. So we could just walk in there and then go watch the game after Ooh. we finished. So that's oh, how yeah. I watched. Because the price they're smoking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they 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 ridiculous. Good. They're smoking something hella great. That's why I said, hey, every seat in that stadium is good. Trust me. When the I experience itself seat. is dope, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and I got, I, right. I got I got too much of a crowd of kids to. <laughs> yeah, I think Mariah probably want to go to like the first game, but I think after that, It'd be like Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, Josiah just because of her interest in mm -hmm. you know just just gonna see what she feels like the first time okay. she she love it every time then i'll take it but yeah I'll major know. major asked me and i was not expecting that he was like we're going to a football game because uh, the last one he went was that buccaneers comeback mm -hmm. uh, and it got so loud in there he loved it he yeah, was like yeah. got the screen yelling and saying, yeah. jumping yeah. and going crazy yeah, so he awesome. asked me when i uh was telling him i was like we got the texans uh texans game coming on he's like we going to one and i was uh, like that's tough. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we are. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. That's, that's super awesome, tough. Man. Yeah, I'm about to uh, get them in there as well. That's, bit, that's, bit, that's, bit. that's one of them little things. So we got them jerseys. I got to get mine. Yeah, they're yeah, so damn my expensive, boy man. God mm -hmm. damn it. I got the discount. Let me know. Just let me know where you go. I need mm -hmm. it. I need it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll shoot you. Who has stuff. the new jerseys right now? I know the shop has some. Because uh, I went to Dixon the and they didn't have any more. The stadium has some, and I know they got... It's another spot. Uh, Let me talk about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll let you. Let know. me get that going. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough and dope though. Like, yeah, bet, and bet. Then we get to go from there. Football season is upon us, man. Yeah, it's yeah. almost draft time too. Draft is uh for our for our league. When is it? Or oh, have it been scheduled yet? Yeah, we scheduled it. It's uh 25th. Just check the Facebook messenger. Hey, okay. Hey, before we get off this pod, pay the homie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pay this man. <laughs> Pay this man. Did he win the draft? Or, I mean, did he win the fantasy league or not? I did. Pay this man because if he don't get paid, I don't get paid. <laughs> Wait, what? So pay this. You remember you told me about the <laughs> Yeah, sure. You remember the you Jordans? Yeah, yeah. You were talking about Yeah. <laughs> I, I give a discount on those if we do this. Like pay I this say, man, bro. For us. We good. Do not start that league. Your league should be vetoed until the payout has been finalized. That's fair. We cannot start a new fantasy group and we still ain't paid last. We shouldn't be in debt. With fantasy leagues. No. Pay that man. This was how many months ago? It was a while ago. Wait, you haven't been paid in a league? Nope. That Since long ago? the league finished. Yeah. I Whose won't. league is this? Speak up. Just tell them to pay you. <laughs> tell them to say, I want my money. I need my money. <laughs> right, Whose league is this? Exactly. What are you guys doing? How you, you owe money in the fantasy league? You're supposed to stash that money somewhere else. But don't y'all pay. We're going to. Hey, man, appreciate y'all for joining. <laughs> pay that man. They just took this man money and it was like, yep. I hope y'all enjoyed the podcast. Because you, you got to pay to get in, right? You, that's what I thought. This right. is doing K Larna. We, we this grimy? We doing Klarna on that too? What this is what we do? K Larna. He said, can I get, get you a payment plan, Ross? <laughs> I paid 25 this week. What's the Amazon thing? I can, uh, I can do 10 a week. <laughs> what was the amount? I actually even forgot what first place was. That's goddamn crazy. Uh, but I know it was in uh, the Was it 10 digits. to get in or 20 to get in? Or uh, 25? It was supposed to be like 25. But Come on, brother. I, I don't know what happened. That's crazy. Don't yeah. even call you got me. You 10 man or what? It was 10 man. Mm -hmm. Don't invite yeah. me nowhere. That's crazy. Don't call me about nothing else. <laughs> oh, did you hear? Oh, did I hear about my money coming in? I that's, I didn't get the transaction yet. That's why my league has survived so long. Mm -hmm. We on. pay out over here. Come on, yeah, I, we we deserve not to pay out because you know we be you know, you know. yeah yeah. Tommy got a nice ring. You feel yeah, me? And before did. that, you know money so, money was given out. Yeah, you feel me? We got a chance tonight, but we you get money work. and a ring in, in this league. And get both. You gonna yeah. pick one? Yeah. <laughs> nah, we're we gonna turn it. We're gonna, we gonna definitely turn it. Maybe we can do a PlayStation giveaway or something next time. Oh, yeah, that'd yeah, be, cool. that, that'd be fire. Dope. Something yeah. dope. Yeah, 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 let me go ahead and hop in that league. <laughs> hey, he's kicking nigga out. <laughs> I got somebody. Nigga, gonna be going I got somebody. We can get. <laughs> I, I thought I was in the. I thought I was I in the league. Be, I ain't gonna be Ross. <laughs> oh damn, bro. Where? Oh man, I think so. I don't know, man. man. You, I can't change it. Now. Your app must be tripping. So we had to. We had to put somebody else in the spot. We had to. They gonna be like. 
play, man. What happened? I was ready for the trap. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing mock drafts all week. Dude, it kicked you out. You gotta oh, ask shit, them I got to I'm gonna probably draft during SmackDown. Y'all. You gotta ask okay. them a question. <laughs> so they kicked you out. Ah oh, man, yeah. I ain't with that, bro. Nah, I'm gonna have to talk to somebody at ESPN. Yeah, they missed this. They missed this. Yeah, then you hit that. Crazy. Well, I guess next time you like, next Dan, season. Well, we'll just have dance in there for the time. Like, yeah, 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 you know him. Yeah, yeah. He's part of the class squad. He's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. He's went through. He, he ain't tripping. He's clearly saying that his is working. But yeah. we love you guys, man. Hope y'all enjoyed one or two. <laughs> Catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace. Peace. Out. Peace. This is the Odyssey Podcast, man.